Now, as a number of miners have been uh, trapped, we understand, in some parts of uh, the, uh, it, the Savannah region. We'll bring you details of that as we go on in the bulletin now. But that's the information we're getting that some several mining pits, we understand, in Bani, in the Talensi district, as a matter of fact, of the Upper East region. After a heavy rainfall uh, yesterday as Monday evening, when some a number of miners have been trapped there. As of the time of filing this story, or we got rid of the story, uh, Upper East Regional Correspondent Tanko Mohamed Rabil uh, said the victims were still trapped while efforts are being made to rescue them. So this is what is happening in the Upper East Region. Take a look. The incident happened around 11 p.m. Monday after rainfall. No miner trapped on the ground has been rescued. The Nadmo Talensi District Chief Executive Officers for Minerals Commission have since visited the area to, f to have first-hand information on the incident. Mining activity by the small-scale miners was suspended in solidarity with the trapped miners. Desperate relatives awaited news of their loved ones. The Upper East Regional Chairman of the Small Scale Miners Association, Robert Bazo, urged family members to remain calm. It's an unfortunate situation that happened last night around what I was told was around 8. One of the biggest mining companies in the area, Shanti Mining Ghana Limited, extended a hand of support by creating a waterway. I woke up this morning uh, on a telephone call that uh, there was an accident at the mining site. So I, I had to rush here. And since the morning, I've been here. I've seen that they are trying to blow the water out of the pit. Uh, what I'm told is uh, rain water. That one is natural passage. And have to uh, get into the pit that the guys were working on, under. And uh, they, they have been trapped in the water since last night. And that's what we are working on right now. Shanti Mining Ghana Limited extended a hand of support by creating a water area to divert the water for future flooding and also provided two heavy water pumping machines to help reduce water in the pits for the retrieval of trapped miners.